Cole Asher Hava Hotep Shalom Namaste Nature Nature in all its essence when one is in tune with themselves, they can do all things perfectly. If a robber is in tune with himself, he will become the perfect robber. The perfect husband, if he's in tune with himself as being a husband, he will become his wife's version of a perfect husband. A banker, an accountant, no matter what your craft is, if you are in tune with who you are, you will become your perfect version a philosopher if he's in tune with himself he has become his perfect version his perfect self perfection they say practice makes perfect that is true although it's more than just practice you have to know it you have to see it within you you have to speak it testify you have to accept and love this, your craft, your, what you do. You have to accept it and love it. You have to will it, want it, do it, act on it at all times, whether you're bored, tired, sleepy, whatever. You have to feel it. Feel it physically and emotionally. You have to feel this, your craft, your desire, your job. What you really want, you have to feel it. And ultimately, you will become it. And this, in turn, in, turn, in turn, it will affect your experience, which will change your perception on all things around you. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. In order for anybody to become their perfect selves, to be in tune with who they are or what they believe, there is no I, there is no me. There is no you, it's us, it's we. You will be in tune with the earth. You will be in tune with who you are, what you want. You cannot become perfect if you are not in tune with what you want. You can do great and do, and do a little better, but you will never become perfect. What I'm saying is, you people, you humans who wish to become gods, Elohim and Devas, you can't become a Deva if you're not in tune with it. To become one. Ultimately realize, ultimately realize without this you are nothing. Realize with this you will become everything. To be in tune with who you are is the key to success. To be one with what you believe is success. If you believe vices are bad, lust and envy and greed, if you believe those things are bad, you don't do it, point blank period. You don't step near the line of lust, envy and greed. You don't go nowhere near the line, because it's bad, right? The edge of a Love is bad, it's gonna hurt. So why even go near the edge where you could be tempted or pushed into Why would you even go near the edge? Why would you go even to the edge of a cliff knowing there's jokers all around you and they would attempt, eventually try to push you over the edge and choke you? Why? Because why would you go to the edge of the greed and folly and foolishness? Those are platforms you should always have. For you to always, always look for a life of desire knowing that's not what you want. This will ultimately destroy you. You must stay in your lane like a car when it drives. The car doesn't venture off into the left lane, not even to a little bit. The car doesn't cross the double line, the double yellow line. It doesn't do that. The car does not cross into traffic. Because the car, the person within the car knows. Once he goes without his, once he goes outside his lane, he will die. You must be in tune with yourself. You must put yourself in a life or death situation. There is no success without being in tune with who you are, with what you believe. 
be in tune with what you really want. Be in tune with what you believe. Be in tune with who you are. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks. Don't worry about what another man sees within you. Don't worry about what another woman thinks about you when you're not around. You must be in tune with who you are and what you believe. If you do this, you will be perfect. There is no tricks, no steps, no none of that. Just be in tune with what you want, with what you believe. You have to recognize, that's two, duality. Recognize the difference. Recognize the opposites of what you are and what you're not. Everything you're not, cast it to the side. Everything that you don't want in life, cast it to the side. Pay it no mind, don't observe it, don't look at it, don't think about it. Even if somebody tempted you with it, just cast it to the side. That's not what you want. If you're trying to stop smoking, anytime you see a cigarette commercial, turn turn off the TV. When, you, when you're when uh, going outside and somebody's offering you a cigarette, you don't want to be around people like that because they're bringing up your past. They're bringing up something that you don't want. They're not fully giving you the benefits of of your reward your greatest version because your best friends will remind you of who you really are everybody you love reminds you of who you really are that's why you have to take everybody's word for what they say if a man comes to you and says i got a gun in the car but i'll be right back i'm about to blow your whole house up and you don't know this man you can't take it as oh he's just talking you can't do that you can't do that you can't you especially if you have children in the house you cannot do that. You can get yourself or somebody you love hurt. You have to take everybody's word for what they say. That's the throat chakra. It's truth. Anything you say is the truth. Whether you know it or not, if you speak it, it is the truth according to your reality. That is the truth. However, just because you believe that you can be promiscuous and you can do what you want, yes, that is the truth. Your conventional truth. But see, I've aligned myself with universal truth. So I can speak and say, if somebody asks me off experience, how do you live this? 